Hi folks, this is Joe from JoeColantonio.com. In this video, I'm going to be doing a clean uninstall of QTP. The first thing you want to do is if you have a seat license, you want to back up your license file. This file is usually located in your program's HP QTP bin folder. If the file is not there, just type in the following command to find it. So once the license file is open, we want to save it to our desktop. And the reason why I'm doing this is I plan on reinstalling QTP. And rather than installing my license file information again, I'm just going to restore this file to the directory that we found it in. Great. So once your license file is backed up, the next step is to go to your control panel and do an uninstall. So go to Add Remove Programs, if it's XP. So I'm just going to remove both the QTP add-in for a quality center and also the Quick Test Professional. So if you do have the quality center add-in, you want to remove that also. OK, great. So. QTP is now uninstalled, so what we want to do next is delete all the QTP folders that may still be on the system. So if I go to my HP folder under Program Files, uh, notice there's still a Quick Test Professional folder. And because I don't have anything else under the HP folder, I'm just going to blow away this whole HP directory. All right, cool. So that folder's gone. Uh, one thing you do want to be aware of is sometimes you have a, uh, a test folder under Quick Test Professional that you may have stored some of your tests locally. So you will want to back those up if you want to save them. If not, just blow away the whole directory and you should be good to go. All right, so now let's go and delete any registry keys that may still be pointing to Quick Test Professional. So we'll go to Start and Run and just type in RegEdit. Let's go to our, let's start with the current user folder. And let's navigate to the Quick Test Professional directory. It should be under Software, Mercury Interactive. All right, notice I still have a Quick Test add in for Quality Center and also a Quick Test Professional. So I'm just going to delete both those registry keys. So next I'm going to go to my local key and go to software once again to Mercury. And I'm just going to delete my Quick Test Professional folder. Now just following those three steps, usually I'm good to go. But there are some extra steps you want to look for just in case. So one thing, you just want to go to your Windows Systems folder and make sure that the BHO manager.dll is installed there. So let's go. I'm just going to sort it by name. And I'm just looking for a file called BHO manager. And it's not there, so great. Uh, also, we're just going to double check uh, the Windows assembly directory. Because once again, there's sometimes files left over that, that need to be deleted also. So we're going to look for any assembly name that starts with Mercury. And great, there's nothing there that starts with Mercury. So under the assembly folder, sometimes there are two files called Mercury QTP Agent and Mercury QTP Custom Server. Um, so if you do see those, you want to delete them. We don't have them, so that's great. All right, so once we followed all these steps, you just want to reboot your system.